Takes a little bit of damage, but good flash away. We are going to look to see if there is going to be a little bit of damage, but now they're caught out. The rest of the team is there. Chai is trying to do his best with the autos, but Ingo Shadow with Fairy Shadow is getting almost going to kill. He flashes forward, gets a kill. They get Yama as well. The Ignite goes down. One summoner, actually all summoners burn on Dragonback. And a Trash pick up the immediate two kills by a fantastic counter. Exactly, exactly what they want on the bottom side of the map still. Chime almost has his ulti available, but might just go for a stun instead. Gatorax right here as well. There it is. And now they go. He was on a ward, but that doesn't matter. Gatorax is stunned, but the hard ultimate again saves him, gives him a little bit of time, and the stun does go down once again, and Gatorax is on a killing spree. He wants to get it, and he does. 7-1-1 one, one for him. I definitely think that Crash has the strength right now to win this fight uh, um, if properly executed but, but it doesn't matter because ganker has a found chime time actually gets away with the bar damn gave them just enough time to make it oh gatorx actually flashes on the wall he wants gets the last auto he is going to survive and now dragonback is there as well they are going to try and dive under no dragonback says get out of my house that's going to be poor dragonback a little bit of a damp and a kill as yellow bumblebee picks up his third kill of the game gatorx right now but Emperor Pigeon is also doing very well in the mid lane on his own. Not getting many resources, but getting a lot of value. We'll have to see if that's going to make any difference here, though. Good shockwave, actually. It does land, but Art Ultimate lands as well. Buys him a little bit of time. Enough for Yellow Bumblebee to come in and clean it up. Here they go. They're popping off. Gatorax is here as well. Tars here goes down to the third shot of Gatorax, and that was such a huge Bard Ultimate to be able to pull that, that off. It's going to make it a lot easier for a split push to be commenced, and then a Baron attempt to be started. But maybe they can find Shadow Figure to mitigate oh, that. Oh, Shadow Figure does get uh, taunted, but that Ultimate, the Temper Fate, always changing the tables. They are a good box in. Vagar gets three stunned, but Shadow Figure doesn't care. He's annihilating the opponent. He does go down to the call of the deep, and that's going to be a kill, but now Emperor Penguin is going to die as well. Oh, but on the back fight, we see a fight from Yellow Bumblebee, and the Vagar Dragon back goes down, and that's a huge trade back and forth, but Gatorax is going deep. Archer says, does it matter? I'm going to die anyway. Might as well try and play the rest of the ult. Ram is running away, but Yellow back chasing away, and <laughs> the stutter step from Ganker. Oh, poor Ram is such an unfortunate time, and that is another ace coming out. As Trash just run it over. It looks like they're gonna try something. Oh, they do get a stun onto Shadow Figure once again, but the temper fades again and again. It doesn't matter where they are, where they are, or where they've been. They do get that stun, and it does lock him down, gives him enough time. Flash forward coming out of bar, and he does land onto Dragonback. Uh, one auto attack on the Dragonback, but in goes Yellow Bumblebee. Almost gets the obliteration onto Dragonback, but he is going to survive. All the members of Definitely not Dark Harvest are alive, but they're burning on their health bars. Health bars almost uh, depleted as a heal up in their Nexus. That doesn't matter as Hibernation is running in. In goes Aramis once again. The ultimate haven't burned, so here they go. They try one more time, but it doesn't matter. Ganker gets ganked instead as the health bar is completely annihilated. Tarsier picks up the kill on the backside. That is a one for one trade, but they lost the second inhibitor. And now they're looking for another a pull in once again. Oh, the pull. In, uh, into another pull as Gatorax gets stunned. Dragon back looking for Retribution gets the ulti. He gets the kill. 900 gold in his pocket. And there they go again. Tarsier does get annihilated though. This is the two. Emperor Penguin Pigeon goes down, but Bard picks up the kill on Darius. And Yellow Bumblebee says, Good night, Vagar. You will not kill anyone else. As that is a second. Eight. It looks like they're wanting to close this game out. The ball is out on the ground. And now, not having their signature event horizon as Sun goes in, Ganker gets completely obliterated. And Temper Fate once again. Solos out hibernation, and the rest of the team is sure to follow as they look to close it out and end the game in commanding fashion. As pre-25 minutes, trash proof, they're not trash. Definitely not, and definitely not Dark Harvest proof. You definitely don't need Dark Harvest to win the game, as trash with zero Dark Harvest takes the win. And we said one side or the other is really going to happen. Right? These guys are all so... And now he's out of his jungle once again. So a little bit dangerous there. Emperor Pigeon having to walk away. And that's going to be a slow kind of climb there. Emperor Pigeon actually taking quite a bit of damage, gets rooted, but Yellow Bomb will be dancing on that bottom side. Oh, Ganker. Ganker is caught in a bad position here. Good damage coming out of Chime. Chime actually dodges out, but that is going to be an almost kill. He does go in. They do pick it up. Yellow Bumblebee smites, tries to get away, but no, he is going to go down. <clears throat> and they go, and they're looking for it. But 
the slows and the damage coming out of this AP squad is actually much higher. Oh, flash forward. Root doesn't land. Emperor Pigeon, no, doesn't pick it up. As Shine picks that one up. Oh, they get the slow on the Dark Harvest. Lissandra, and Lissandra actually picks that up as well. Oh, no, no, another fight on the top side. Hibernation, I walked over Shoom. The autos go down and crush him. Yellow Bumblebee going ham, does pick up Ganker, and that that smite saves him. He does survive through the fight, and now Chime looking like he wants a fight as well. Dragon autoing people to death. Chime whipping everything as the team dances and dances around them. They're picking up so much here, but no, they actually survived. They survived him with barely any health, and Yama is next in the line. Does have the stopwatch, but I don't think it's going to do enough. They pick up the kills and they're on a roll now. Or the Leandres into tank matchups. So the not having the Nashor's Tooth is gonna hurt that CDR on the Steam but watch Emperor Pigeon. Oh, Emperor Pigeon has to flash away. The Q goes down as well. Dragon, Dragon back actually gets stunned though. He does get very closely popped, but in comes the Pantheon. Pantheon does pick up the kill onto Emperor Pigeon and now it's Shadow Figure's turn. They want to keep fighting this though, but in comes Lissandra. Lissandra with a great group. And a great stun, tries to get the ulti off. Does get the ulti on a primary target. Yellow Bumblebee is caught, and then he goes down as well, but Cataract is trying to fight his way back. Time has picked up, I believe. No, he has not picked up the Rift Herald. It does go down because the timer is there. No, he, he is uh, running away. Zeke's for him. So this Lucian will have good damage output too, even though he's gone a little off his traditional build and not completed that back favor yet. Oh, the question is now, what can they get? It looks like both teams are trying to posture for a fight. It's been fairly quiet, and they want to try and push down this tower as it looks like Yama does get a good hook, lands onto Chime, but doesn't follow up. So it looks like they're just going to try and push this down. Shadowy figure walks up a little bit too close, gets slowed. Might get jumped on. The ultimates do go out. Tarsier ults himself. In comes the Pantheon ultimate as well. All the flashes are blown, and they want to keep fighting. Jump down onto Chime. Time is going to go extremely low, but Teemo going so strong right now with the auto attack. He does go down himself. That is a one for, uh, I believe that's actually a two for two. Pretty trade. dire situation here. All of definitely not Dark Harvest are looking to try and jump. They do get the hook on and right. They just immediately pop him down. Hibernation gets caught on the other side, but in comes the Pantheon ultimate once again. They get the slows. Ganker does find the victor, but it doesn't matter as the entire team of trash just get deleted where they stand. In goes LeBlanc, but it doesn't matter because they frozen tomb. Catches LeBlanc mid distortion. This is possibly a game end here. Or oh, it could definitely, definitely be game the end. As they're looking for it, Trash looking like they want to fight, but no. Oh, the Yasuo jungle not yield for a ninth time. Time as well for his seventh. And Emperor Pigeon has to be left to watch his base crumble as he dies in. Doesn't even get the kill onto Yama. Yama fives. And that is going to be the game as Shadow Figure dies in and gets popped as well. That is going to be a delayed ace once again as they take game number two and force this series into a game number three. like hibernation is trying to poke up on the side yama deciding he wants to dive in oh good knockup and another knockup but wait but first blood goes over to orange orange actually sacrifices no recon actually sacrifices his life and that's two kills going over to cassidy once again cassidy getting fed yellow bumpy has to flash away but tarsier follows he might get a kill but he does have to keep running exhaust goes down he is getting jumped on oh ganker jumps in as well looks like everyone's going down but yellow bumpy he dumped back in and now he goes down but the arrow gets the cassidy and cassidy goes down as well and that is a three for two in favor super super low he's just dancing his way around the enemy team and this is where it goes crazy. Yellow Bumblebee looks where he does get the assassin to Dragon back, Dragon back. The recall, or not recall, has to watch the gray screen. Yellow Bumblebee does go down to the tower shot, and that is actually two in favor of the team. Definitely not Dark Harvest as they are ripping through shreds. Oh, but Hibernation wants to get the kill. He does get the pullback, does get the fear. He gets the fear on two. And that's going to be another kill as a delayed oh, eight. for them. Looks like a little bit extra damage. Oh, in comes these sides. Shot number one, shot number two, shot number three hits a little bit on the side, and shot number four lands into Orn. Orn blocks it with the hammer. And decides to keep going. Knockup doesn't land on anyone. Shadow figure doesn't have flash. Remember that he does get caught. He does get back. And now all the stuns go out. In comes the artillery from the Zenith this time around. Knockups go everywhere. And Team Trash make quick work. A team definitely not Dark on 12 Dark Harvest stacks. That's two stacks a minute. And Ganker goes low, actually gets deleted, and Yellow Bumby actually gets popped by Kassim, and Kassim gets a trade kill, and Kamui actually picks up Orin. And all said and done, five really kills ahead. Keep it alive for his team. And later on, you have to remember, he is going to be absolutely decimated as Hibernation goes in. Now, Yellow Bumby actually... Good charm in the backline. Time picks up that kill, and that is going to be Melting Pot once again. Team Trash making another quick work of them as 
Ganker does decide to pick up time with the passive. That, or not passive, artillery strikes once again, so a decent trade, but two for one once again is a problem. Yellow Bumblebee actually close in, does get good damage. Ganker, but he does Another artillery strike lands on Yellow Bumble. Yellow Bumble taking low as well, but not as low as Ganker. Oh, in comes the ultimate from Shadowy Figures. Does not land. Flash forward from Emperor, Emperor Pigeon to try and pick up the kill, but goes a little bit wide. Oh, here comes the Arcane Barrage coming out from Emperor Pigeon. Doesn't land, but the poke is so strong. The flash forward. Emperor Pigeon, or not Emperor Pigeon, I'm so sorry. Gatorax doesn't get that kill, and Yellow Bumble actually picks up one kill, but trade he wanted it a bit more time actually gets locked down from that poke in comes the sniper shots coming out of Jin. actually lands on emperor pigeon but body block coming out from shadow figure is strong they look for a little bit more he is going to go down castle picks that one up as well oh chains from the deaths do not land and in goes tarsi he does pick up one he as time goes down living artillery not enough but they are diving all the way behind base as team definitely not now Carpets look to clean up the kill, and they do! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. At the late yeah, eight. In, so all of them are stacking as quickly as possible. We do see Dust Blade being finished. Emperor Penguin actually getting caught out. Does not get jumped on. He actually is going to be a reverse jump on as Chime jumps all the way to the back line. Does get a good ult. Just getting all the stacks that he wants. He is getting kills left and right, and Tarsier on this Kassadin is cleaning house Gatorax now on the run as well as he gets jumped on. And now Kassadin with a double kill, a possible triple. No! Ace coming out as a game game point of an A-Ram. And it's scary because one of these deaths, the death timers are not nice to people. Good damage, good arrow goes through. Oh, ultimate goes through. But they do get the knockup. That's three knockups as they wanted. Chime goes all the way to the back line. They pick up one kill. And they're just rooting the chain of corruption. Locks down all the members as they do decide. And goes yellow bumblebee. He gets the annihilation. And that's the one combo. The he ace. He gets nothing. He does get the experience lead though. But that is going to be an inhibitor going over and favor a team's crash. They're doing very well. Oh, but now they have to pay for their transgressions. One more shot actually lands on Emperor Pigeon, which means he's actually slowed as well. Oh, this could be so bad. Emperor Pigeon gets run down. Double kill coming out for the cast, and he's going to keep running. He wants to try and get on Varus. But Varus gets the health, gets a little speed boost, does get away. Tarsier actually picks up a little bit of healing on the back end, but he actually gets flashed on. Oh, look at that damage. And Tarsier says, my turn. We do see an ultimate coming out. Oh, this is a big jump up. Ganker has to flash away. Chain of Corruption actually lands. This is what they want. The strike. The Wombo combo of dreams right now. Oh, and the root. Poor Tarsier got caught up in the middle of that. He was not able to do anything there. And that might be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen, as Dragonback gets deleted off the face of the map. And we said it before. We said it again and again. They needed that jump for it to all coordinate. And they do. That looks to be game number three going in favor of this trash squad. They win UML All-Stars Series with a resounding 39 to 29 and only 15 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. And such a good showing from both teams. We have to say so good on them.